SalesPad allows users to easily create and manage purchase orders uh, completely from within SalesPad without having to open Dynamics GP. In this short video, we'll take a look at how users can retrieve vendor information, open up existing POs, create a new PO from scratch, uh, and generally manage their purchasing process from within SalesPad. First, we'll go to the Modules menu, and you'll notice on the Purchasing submenu, we can search for existing purchase orders, we can edit line items on existing POs, uh, the Purchasing Advisor allows us to consolidate our purchasing, it gives us a view of all of the demand throughout the system, whether demand for product is coming from back orders or whether it's coming from parts below their reorder point. Uh, we, can, we can create purchase plans and generate POs from the Purchasing Advisor. And then the vendor search allows us to look for a vendor. So I'm going to type in air and find the vendor air gas. We can see all the contacts within this account, uh, this vendor account. And if I uh, drill into it, it opens up a vendor card where I can see any existing POs that are outstanding for this vendor. I can view contact information, note history, complete item history of items purchased from this vendor, what I paid for it, when I bought it, um, anything I need to know, know about this vendor and this vendor account relationship I should be able to see from this vendor tab. You'll notice I can also open up one of these existing POs simply by clicking on the linked field and you'll see that it opens up a tab. I could reprint, edit, you know, email this PO again if I needed to. I'm going to go to their vendor card and you'll notice I can originate a standard PO or a dropship PO directly from this vendor card. So I'll pick the standard PO button where I can assign my own PO number or let it grab the next available PO number from Dynamics GP. I'm going to start with my first line item. We'll type in the HD40. I'll order 12 of those. My location is the warehouse and my unit cost on this is $12. If I've finished with that line, I hit simply hit enter and move to the next line and move to my next item. From here, I can print this PO, which forces a save, and I can uh, I've now been assigned a PO number 2281. I get a preview of the PO, and this PO form can be formatted to look any way that the uh, user would like. It can be emailed directly from uh, this window. I'll simply close it save it and we've completed the creation and communication of a PO. If I need to retrieve that PO I can do it either from the vendor card or by using the purchase order search function by simply entering in a part of that PO number. So I'll put in 2281. It retrieves the PO. I can open it up from here. If you'd like to learn more about any sales pad functionality or specifically the purchasing functionality, please contact your Dynamics GP partner or send us a note at sales at salespad.net. Thank you very much.